1220. Santa Cruz is hometown station KHTS 98.1 FM and AM 1220. I am Kyle Jennings. This is the Hometown Morning Show with Tori and Kyle. Make sure you go to hometownstation.com for all the latest and greatest Santa Clarita has to offer. And speaking of the greatest Santa Clarita has to offer, we have a very special guest in studio. It is none other than Beth Heiserman from Reyes Winery. Good morning. Happy, happy, wet <laughs> Thursday, Beth. How are you? Good morning. Uh, it, it's extremely wet outside. I hope you were careful on the roads. Uh, yes, it was ugly out there. It is very ugly out there. Please be careful. But we have sunshine awaits us on the weekend. And uh, thank goodness, because we have a couple of great events coming up at Reyes Winery. The first, uh, this Saturday. Day. Absolutely. Two, two days from two days from now. Tell us about it. Well, once a month we do a hike and a brunch, and it's generally the third Saturday of every month, except we go dark in July and August because of the heat. And then this month we have the extreme where it's cold. But it's going to be beautiful on Saturday, and we're so excited that the rain is cleared up, so we'll have a beautiful hike. We go about seven miles, six to seven miles up into the mountains. We come back down. You enjoy a light and healthy brunch. We do wine tasting and a tour of the vineyard. So first things first, the hike is first. Yes. Then the reward <laughs> comes after. Absolutely. $45 per person. It goes from 730 to 12 noon on Saturday. You've got to be there by 730. Correct. If you're not there by 730, that you're gone. You're already on your hike. <laughs> Pretty much. They, they, they start to leave at 8. So we get everybody checked in from 7.30 to 8, and then at 8 o'clock they leave. Got to be there at 7.30. Absolutely. Wear your hat, your sunglasses, long pants, comfortable shoes. But, I mean, has anyone taken a hike before? Why do you got to tell them that? Like, that's, that's hiking gear. You'd be surprised. Okay. I probably would be. <laughs> uh, the hike includes a two-hour hike uh, through the mountains and then a light and healthy brunch. What's for brunch these days? Do you change it up uh, every once in a while? Absolutely. What's, every what's, month what? it's a little different. It's always seasonal. It's uh -huh. farm to table. So I like to do what is seasonal that you would get at one of the local farms, all my veggies and fruits. And I love to do, which everyone absolutely adores, are my cinnamon rolls. And I do change the fruit in the yes. nuts every time. Yes, please. <laughs> we could have sampled those this morning, Beth, but whatever. <laughs> I have, um, sometimes I do blueberry lemon, cranberry pecan, uh, Cherry hazelnut. I've done cherry um, with almonds. Those are really good too. Those are fantastic combinations yes. that I would never. Th those are not you know your normal oh, no. everyday. That's awesome. I like to have different varieties. Um, we have um, this. It's like a puff pancake that I do with pesto and spinach, and sometimes I do that and cheese, and it's really delicious. Sometimes I do a hash brown casserole with chicken sausage chilies and cheese um these sound so fantastic yes. after and and what a reward after this hike you you get some fantastic Absolutely. food and the wine let's talk about the wine <laughs> what do we get saturday what are our choices um well i usually pair one white and one red with the dishes um this weekend i probably will pair our new chardonnay it's 2016 renaissance by Reyes chardonnay i um have been talking about it all week long on the blog and different things so it's a very exciting new wine and the other day i was trying to think of different things to pair with it and i'm just thinking thousands of things to come up with it so I'm so it sounds like it's a versatile, uh, it's pretty a versatile. It's a very versatile Chardonnay. It can go with so much. I like it with a little bit of spice. So I'm going to create the menu based on that wine, and then I'll choose one of our other wines, probably Robbie. Everyone loves Robbie. If I don't do Robbie, everybody gets like, oh, my goodness, where is it? They get feisty, <laughs> huh? They do. And then... And then, if that's not enough, you have yet another event coming up. It's called the Red Blend Tasting Event on Saturday, Feb 2nd. Now, uh, that's only a couple of weeks from now. Right. Uh, the Red Blend Tasting Event. Tell me about that. So usually about four or five times a year, I do different tasting events. It's a food and wine pairing that we do. Sometimes I do verticals, like the last one we did in October was all our Merlots. This one I'm doing all of our blends. What's, what's, now, now see, I don't know wines and you do this to me every time. <laughs> what's a vertical? A vertical means all the Merlots. So you get to try 2009, 10, 11, 12, 13, etc. Gotcha. This one I'm doing just blends. 
And then each wine, I have a little bit of education about the wine itself, and then I do a food pairing. So each wine... You had me at food pairing. (laughs) Every wine pairs very well with either a cheese, a savory dish, or a sweet dish. So this, I generally choose a cheese and a chocolate type Mm. of dessert Mm. to go with each wine. Mm. You know, one of these days... We should try, you know, I should come in the afternoon mm-hmm. and uh, Kyle and Aaron and I should all, we should do like a, uh, have you in and do like a wine tasting, okay. you know, like a, a kind of what is coming up on the weekend Absolutely. or an event and uh, we should try and do that. We okay. should try and coordinate something like that. How fun would that be? When I come in next time, I'll bring something so we can pair it. Right? Yes. How fun would that be? So uh, we have two events coming up. There are more events. Listen. Uh, you have <laughs> events going on all the time. You, yes. I mean, it sounds like you're a party person uh, <laughs> with the amount of events you have going on. But the first up is the Hike and Brunch this Saturday, then the Red Blend Tasting event on the 2nd. Yes. Uh, tickets are available on the website? Yes, absolutely. How do we get there? Um, Reyeswinery.com, and you want to go to the event page. It's as simple as that. As simple as that, so, and it's chronological. So you just scroll down by date. And you'll find it. And we can buy them by credit card? Absolutely. I love it. I love it, Beth Heiserman. Try and stay uh, warm as you go out into the world after this interview. And uh, be careful on the roads. Will you do that? Absolutely. Thank you. Beth Heiserman, Reyes Winery. Check it out. Events all the time and fun stuff, too. And the rain's going to lift. So this Saturday is a perfect time to take a hike. And then the reward, the reward (laughs) of the wine and food pairing. It's coming your way. Thanks for coming in, Beth. You're welcome. Thank you. Beep, beep.